Hey, and welcome to yet another series of the types and component of the computer system, which is chapter one of this textbook. And we'll be looking at the part five of it, which is emerging technologies. Um, it doesn't really come out as, as much as we hope. Uh, but we do see one or two questions coming out from it, and it's important that we we just know what it is. It's very, very important, especially when we're talking about artificial intelligence. This is the time we are seeing the fifth generation that dwells on artificial intelligence, so there's importance um, to this um, particular subtopic. Now, there are many definitions of the artificial intelligence. When we talk about AIs, we call AIs, right? And these are machines or applications that carry out tasks that require some degree of what we call intelligence. For example, the use of language, um, recognizing the person's face, biometrics, uh, the ability to operate machinery such as a car, an airplane, a train, and so on. Analyzing data to predict the outcome of a future event. For example, weather forecasting. Now, we we'll talk about AIs. They duplicate human tasks, which requires a kind of decision making and problem solving skills. Eventually, many tasks presently are done by humans will now be replaced by either robots or computers. And yes, the downside of it all is it can lead to what we call unemployment. But let's look at the bright side, right? It, it, there is that improvement in safety and quality of service and product. So let's talk about the impact of the artificial intelligence on everyday life. So whenever AI is mentioned, people think of it as a science fiction. Yeah, like it's a fantasy, you know, and they think of robots, right? Uh, the science fiction writers, you know, Isaac and a lot of them, right, went as far as producing his three laws of robotics. One is robot may not injure a human through actions or in actions. Robot must obey orders given by humans without question. And a robot must protect itself unless it conflicts with the two laws above. So many science fiction movies continue to fuel people's imagination with the slightly sinister interaction between humans and machines. However, AI goes way beyond robotics and covers many areas, such as the ones you've seen right here in this picture. One is the autonomous, the autonomous vehicles, right? That is talking about having a driveless um, train, autopilot on airplanes, and future development, it, and they're working on it as well, talking about driveless cars. Cars will be driving on their own, okay? And these are prototypes that are being worked on. The next one is um, robotic arm, right? Um, and of course, to help people who are amputated, right? People with disabilities to have a hand or a leg. And we've seen this in movies, okay? So it's actually real. We have the, um, another areas it covers, um, robots uh, used to help people carry what we call um, dangerous and unpleasant tasks. For example, bomb disposers, weeding of cars, um, car bodies, entering into a nuclear disaster work area. Negative impact of artificial intelligence, okay? It could lead to many job losses in numbers of areas. Although it is true to say that the new technological job could also be created, right? People could also learn these technological jobs, and but many jobs could be lost in manufacturing. But other rules are likely to be likely to be affected, such as buses, taxis, and train drivers as well. Dependency on this technology and the inability to carry out tasks done by robots. Okay, yeah, it could be an issue in the future. You depend on them to do everything for you. Loss of skills. If robots are doing everything, it simply means that it will come in time, and we are seeing this. People lack that basic skill to be able to carry out certain tasks. Extended rea re reality. Extended reality. XR. Let's talk about extra. We're talking about extended reality. We're talking about the virtual reality as well. We're talking about real reality, right? We, where where is able to catch all terms for immense technology. And there are three most common examples of extended reality. We have the augmented reality, we have the virtual reality, and we have the mixed reality. Now, 
all this immersive technology extends to reality we experience by either blending the virtual and real worlds or by creating a fully immense experience. Now, because of this curriculum, we're just going to look at the two of them, which is the augmented reality and the virtual reality. So let's look at the augmented reality. Now, this feature includes, it allows users to experience the relationship between the digital, which is the virtual, and the physical, which is the real world, right? So there's that experience. Why is virtual? It looks as if you're experiencing that, that real world. Okay, for my students, I'm going to post a video um, on the link in their classroom to also give them a glimpse of what I took, what I mean by the augmented reality. Virtual information on the objects are overlaid into real world situations. They use it to try to construct bridges to see how it stands. And the real world is enhanced with these two details, such as the image, the text, and animations. The users can experience this augmented reality through special Googles or smartphones or the tablet screens. The user is not, is not isolated from the real world and is still able to interact and see what is going on in front of them. Example include the, the Pokemon Go game, which overlay digital creatures into real world situations. And there are a lot of them. Now, in the future, augmented reality will have an impact on the following areas. Safety and rescue operations, entertainment, right, where people are able to interact with characters, imagine the characters of your favorite film, interacting with you at home. Shopping and retail, which is one of the big areas, okay, using your smartphone cameras to try to make up and see how you look before you actually buy it, okay. Um, what area? Healthcare. Doctors can make use of this augmented reality to have a better understanding of a patient body. Softwares like um, the EchoPixels enable doctors to use the, um, yeah, this CT scan for patient to build up a 3D image of their body and help with the surgery and diagnosis. Virtual reality, which is very, very common. The ability to be able to take the user out of the real world environment into a virtual, which is unreal environment. It is a construct to the augmented reality because the user is fully immersed in a simulated digital world and they have to discover that they are fully into it. Users must wear what we call a virtual reality headset or a held mounted display which allows a 360 degree view of the virtual world. This fools the brain into believing they are walking into an ocean bed or walking into an alien world or into a volcano. This technology can be used to good effect in medicine, in construction, in engineering, and even in the military to try to fight your way into the, the enemy terrain. In the future, virtual reality will have an impact on the following areas. On military application, that is for training, to operate a new tank, for education, looking inside ancient buildings as part of a history lesson. Healthcare, um, to diagnose, to recommend treatment, entertainment, where you, you can want to just have interactions to players or even be a player to see how it feels. Fashion, to do fashion shows before doing the real thing. Heritage, to walk around. Businesses, engineering, sports, trying to play golf, medias, scientific visualization. And there we have it. So thank you for watching. Please do want to subscribe. That's for me in chapter one. Bye bye.